When 10-year-old Mason Taylor was diagnosed with leukemia about a year ago, his world forever changed. He was in the hospital for a few weeks. His illness then prevented him from returning to school. So instead, Mason was assigned a homebound teacher. But now the latest technology, a Vigo robot adopted by Northside ISD, makes it possible for him to attend Rawlinson Middle School without leaving home. April 10th, 2014 is a day Beth Taylor and her son Mason will always remember. It's the day Mason was diagnosed with blood cancer. It was that second, the second we were told everything stopped. Within 12 hours, he was getting his port placed and getting chemo. Um, so it was, it was just an immediate change. Leukemia hindered Mason's ability to fight infection. The chemotherapy made him sick and very weak. As a result, Mason finished off the last few weeks of his fifth grade year from home. But when school started up for his friends at Rawlinson Middle School, Mason felt left out. The Vigo robot changed all that. The Adventures of Paul the Wonder Cat. Hi, I'm Paul and I'm a cat. The Vigo opened up a little bit of that social world again to him. So he gets to see their faces at least. Do you want to read the words at the bottom? The prince traveled the known world. The robot also allows Mason to participate in class and interact with his teachers. He controls the robot using the internet, a computer, and webcam from home. His friends help him with the robot at school. Keep turning. My friends, they're the ones who sort of direct me as I'm changing classes. So sometimes I just mess with them with the computer voice. Who can tell me what that's called? Mason's language arts teacher says when they first found out there would be a robot in class, she had more questions than the students. I had a little bit of fear because I didn't know what to expect. And my students were super excited. The thought that Mason was going to be able to come into class and actually interact with them. But they all easily settled into a routine and began to interact with Mason via the robot. Hey Mason. Okay, so my question is, even though your character's a cat, is like the rest of the police officer's cats or are they human? Mason can also ask questions by using a light indicator on the robot. Well, actually, I keep an eye on the screen. He hasn't used the lights to indicate that he has a question. Not in my class. He just, he sits on the couch and he raises his hand like that. It's really cute. Some of Mason's classmates have never met him in person, but have gotten to know him through the robot hobbies and interests. I know he's a really cool guy because the stories he tells and his personality is really cool. The robot has made all the difference in the world for Mason and he only hopes now that other homebound students will benefit from a Vigo robot as well. It's like they're not being left out. They're not only getting homebound, but they can go to classes and get just keep up with their class. I'll see you Monday. You'll see me Monday? Me too. Bye. Bye. Northside purchased three Vigo robots for homebound students, and ISD will purchase more robots in the coming months.